This video goes through four things regarding selling on Amazon and you also learn two things you absolutely must get right if you want to succeed on Amazon nowadays. And as a bonus, I'll tell you the biggest cost in life. So let's get straight to it. If you're wondering why should I listen to this guy, what does he know? Then I can tell you that I started selling on Amazon in 2014 and have been helping others since 2017. I have over a thousand students and my students have done six, seven and eight figure exits. But you can't teach Amazon if you don't do Amazon. So I'm still to this day heavily involved in the daily operations of our Amazon MBA business. Teaching is actually a great way to increase my mastery and I also learn from my students. So my Amazon businesses have millions of happy customers. I won awards, spoke at conferences and Amazon has invited me to their events in New York to showcase a successful seller. So perhaps I possibly might be doing something right. But blah, 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 I get to the point already, right? Number one, what is Amazon FBA private label? It is essentially a very virtual marketplace where you sell your products without the burdens of traditional retail. You have real estate inside the world's biggest digital shopping mall that's already full of customers. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, which means you outsource all the heavy lifting to Amazon, such as shipping, storing, packaging, handling customer service, while focusing on marketing to the people inside the mall. Flyers ship product directly to Amazon, so you never even need to touch the physical products. No need to have a warehouse, big staff, or any of that it's all online. Third party sellers like me account for 60% of all products sold on Amazon. In the US almost 60% of every dollar spent goes to Amazon. More Americans have Prime membership than go to church on Sunday. Pretty wild right? <laughs> and that's just US. Amazon operates in over 25 countries. Same platform, same system on all of them. Private label means that instead of selling someone else's product, you buy the product from a supplier and brand it as your own. This way on Amazon you have your own product listing that you control. The world is full of suppliers who love to offer their products for you to sell as your own while doing modifications such as branded packaging and add-ons. At this point it's best not to have a product idea yet because we research Amazon marketplaces based on certain criteria to find product opportunities with optimal supply and demand. High demand low competition. The old way to do this business model was to buy a thousand units and spend a minimum of four thousand dollars and six months to get your first sale. This is what everyone else is teaching. I mean just take a look at YouTube, TikTok to see for yourself. The old approach was like going on a lengthy and costly expedition sailing through uncharted waters for months at the risk of going Titanic. In contrast to new ways like taking a short budget friendly flight and arrive at the destination faster. It's evolution instead of revolution with a low risk, low budget product launch by spending only four weeks and a few hundred dollars. Number two, why Amazon FBA? Why would anyone want to do this? Look at it this way. Building an Amazon FBA business is like planting seeds that grow in the orange tree. The product is like a tree while the tasty oranges are the income to either pay yourself or reinvest into nutrients. Crafting a business where you work smart, not hard. For example, our student A2 a firefighter runs it as a side gig that's doing 100k per month. Or Riku, content in his day job, dedicates a mere 30 minutes per week to run his seven figure tree farm. Yonne, on the other hand, is an example of people who wanted to quit their 9 to 5 job ASAP, and he was able to do that after nine months and nowadays has six figure days. Or Alar and Ardo, who love working full time on their eight figure business centered on just one product that is actually actually number one in beauty with a hefty 50% profit margin. Another point is that besides just getting those tasty fruit, then at any point you can sell your tree or the whole tree farm for a hefty lump sum. Oliver, for instance, sold his single tree after two years of work for two million dollars. The market is full of companies wanting to buy these tree farms. As you can see from all these emails, I'm getting offers from companies to buy my tree farms. One is even offering to buy me a coffee if I just bother replying his email. These two sides of the tree, the harvest as in making money and selling the tree itself, the big payday, are why it makes sense to delve into the world of Amazon FBA. Number three, how does it work in practice? 
Great question. There's two things you must do right in order to succeed on Amazon nowadays. Number one is speed. Launch products in four weeks instead of six months. Number two, launch multiple products. You cannot expect to launch one product a year and expect it to become a seven figure business overnight. No, it's smarter to maximize the odds for success by launching multiple products at the minimum budget. So together with you, we create a robust business in just 12 months prime for a potential seven figure exit. Achieving product success on Amazon is like baking a cake. You need ingredients and a recipe, but you also need to do everything in the right order. So right recipe, right ingredients in the right order. But what happens if you mess it up? Yes, let's forget fantasies. For once, let's be super pessimistic and just assume that it all goes down the drain. So if that happens, then where do you stand? What can you lose? Let's imagine the worst case scenario happens. Soon after your product goes live, you get a feisty one-star review from an angry customer about an issue that you're not able to fix. And boom, your sales end there. To handle this, you decrease the price, increase ad spending to bump up the sales and get rid of the stock. Where do you stand then? Well, let's take a look at two examples, two different approaches. The old schooler spent $4,000 and six months, so probably feeling pretty discouraged, I imagine, since it's gonna take ages to sell those thousand units. And honestly, it's gonna be pretty damn difficult getting the investment back at this point. Probably it means even game over if that was the whole budget. New schooler doing the low risk, low budget approach, on the other hand, spent only $200 on four weeks. So it's not a big deal. At least the new schooler will be able to make the investment back with those 50 units and move on to the next product. The worst case scenario using the low risk, low budget method is literally no big deal. Therefore, the new schooler can make 10 times more mistakes than the old schooler. Together, we are going to help you apply this method to get a product live in four weeks. As your personal trainer, we hold you by the hand and guiding you week by week, making sure you exercise the right way and get results. Selling on Amazon is so 70% analyzing and 30% taking action based on the analysis. That's why together we take it step by step. First batch is about learning the steps to sell that product in question. Second batch is about learning to differentiate the product from the competitors. Third batch is about learning to sell better than the competitor. You can hop into our public Facebook group where some of our students are sharing their progress in real time. By the way, even if you have been selling for years like we have, this is still the process we follow as we launch new products because every Everything depends on the product and you cannot necessarily know in advance how the market is going to react what kind of surprises pop up along the way but what happens after four weeks does it end there no as this is a six month program the pace and how quickly we go depends on you and your situation for example if you want to go from LA to Las Vegas then sure I mean walking is free but it's gonna take a really long time to get there if ever taking the bus uh, better but still takes a long time whereas flying is the fastest way but also costs more so your resources such as money time and effort expedite the process but regardless of the budget first month you spend only a few hundred bucks to get one product live no need to spend more because it's not for profit it's for validating the product idea and in any case what you earn you reinvest back to buy more inventory you gain enthusiasm as you progress and get results you experience firsthand that you can do this. You add a thousand dollars and within two months the returns help to fuel the growth. Even if you have four thousand dollars to spend, you still chop it down to increments of a thousand to progress gradually so you won't waste a single cent. You identify the winning products, amplify what works and spend more on the winners. You keep doing the same thing, reinvesting what the products are making. So in six months you have built the run rate of a million dollar business. Number four, how can you do this? Well, now that you have the information, then the question is, what are you gonna do with it? Truth is, you could get started today and have a product live in four weeks. In the beginning, I promised to tell you the biggest cost in life. So what is it? No, it's not taxes, that comes second. The biggest cost in life is 
opportunity cost. Not knowing how to make a million dollars last year cost you a million dollars. But it's even worse when you knew the opportunity existed, but didn't do it anyway and end up regretting it by not even taking the chance. So the question is, when you see something worthwhile doing, are you going to procrastinate like typical people usually do? Truth is imperfect action beats perfect inaction every time. If you want the next five years to be different than the last five years, then it can only happen by doing something about it. The way we work is that we vet all our applicants. So if you want to proceed, then the first step is to send an application, to provide a little bit of information about you and your situation and book a quick 15 minute discovery call. It's not a sales call, so leave your wallet at home. It's just a quick discovery call to see if this really is the right business model for you. It's been life changing for me and my students, but your situation could be different. Who knows, maybe it's not for you. So that's what the call is about, figuring it out together. The call is either going to be with me, my business partner Victor, or our team. There's no obligations whatsoever. If it seems like a good fit, then we can talk about crafting a personalized plan for you. Nothing would make me happier than see you become our next success story. See you soon.